So let's we're, we're hitting the D12 now. D12 is one of the um, Shodash of Arya, one of the 16 lines. Wow, it's going on 5 o'clock. Mm. Okay. Um, D12 shows the parents. The Karka planets are the sun and the moon. The Karka Bhavas are the fourth house and the ninth house. Now, we look at the sun and the moon to see how, you know, the karka, is the mother in our life? Is she taking care of us or is she not? Is the father there in our life or is he not? Mm -hmm. We look at that karka, it's just like everything we looked at before. And we look at the karka bhavas to see what is, the, what is our connection to the parents. Now, what if you wanted to see what your mom's job is? What kind of career she had? You would look at the tenth from either the moon or the fourth house, no? I'm picking on you because I gave you this one in the D7. Animate being, your mother's oh. a living being, right? Oh, the lord of the fourth house, look tenth from there. Tenth from the lord of the fourth. We see your relationship with the mother from the fourth house. Mm -hmm. And all about that, the relationship you have with her. Your interaction with her. But when we go to look at the mother, we look at the lord of the fourth. Right. Same That's with all the other charts. Yeah. It's animate being. We got to look at a planet to see a living being. Oh. Okay. Maybe I can make my characters more real. I like stuff. Start looking at living beings. Looking at living beings instead of. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth house will show your relationship to her. Um. We also, the deities of the uh, D12, there's four deities. Ganesh, the Ashwini Kumaras, Yama, and the Sarpas. Ganesh is the lord of removing obstacles, and he shows um, encouragement, education, and protection from the parents. Ashwini Kumara are the healers. They show nourishment and being taken care of by the parents. And uh, Yama shows, you know, early death and separation or separation from the parents. And Sarpa shows you got some karmas that might not be so nice to work out with the parents. So we look at the um, these lords of the fourth lord, of the ninth lord, of the sun and of the moon. Okay? How do we get these lords? Huh? How do we get the diligence? Some of them we gave out in the Rashi check section. They're all listed in Parasha. Mm -hmm. Every single one is listed in Parasha. Jehora, if you click on where it gives you the basics, if you look down at the bottom, it gives you three folders. Mm -hmm. One of those folders is Umsha Lord. If you click on Umsha Lord, it gives you the D60 Lord. You left click and you can pick on any Varga chart. And it'll tell you which who's the Lord of all the planets. What's the section called again? It's the main. It's on the basics. Okay. I'm sure Lord and under the basics. I'm sure Lord. Okay. There's the article. It's it's very. Sanjay has the on the front page on of the J mm -hmm. Very easy to get to because it's it really explains down the how to use the it's got show tab. It's got a little tab. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So much stuff. Yeah. What's that? Oh, the article. Sanjay wrote an article about it. On what? On the determine how, what, how to determine the relationship of the child to the parents mm -hmm. based on these uh, divisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like like that Sarpa. Mm -hmm. It's bad news. Yeah. <laughs> it is. When you write this, it was he had it on a little square. You click on it, like this is my new article. Recently. Yeah. You, before you change the site. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I know, I can't find half the things that used to be on there. <laughs> and I like, uh, I'm so glad it was a PDF, I downloaded it. And um, it's pretty good. Yeah. He doesn't keep the stuff on there? It's there somewhere. Yeah, okay. If you can find it. 